This marvelous monument is the Statue of Unity, also known as the biggest statue in the world. Standing proudly on the banks of the majestic Narmada River in the state of Gujarat, India, the Statue of Unity soars to a remarkable height of 182 meters, 597 feet, making it the tallest statue in the world. This monumental tribute, unveiled on the 31st of October 2018 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, is a symbol of India's rich history and the unwavering commitment to unity exemplified by Vallabhbhai Patel, a revered statesman and freedom fighter. But what is the history behind it? How did the engineers manage to craft this masterpiece? And how did they make this project come to life? We are going to cover everything in this video. So let's dive into the fascinating story behind the project of the biggest statue of the world. The journey of the Statue of Unity began in 2010 when then Chief Minister of Gujarat, Narendra Modi, announced this ambitious project. A new society was formed under the guidance of the Chief Minister to execute this monumental endeavor. The project ignited a grassroots movement called the Statue of Unity Movement, where farmers donated their used farming instruments to contribute the iron needed for the statue's construction. This heartwarming effort not only symbolized unity, but also celebrated the agricultural heritage of the region. The design of the statue, entrusted to the skilled hands of Indian sculptor Ram V. Sutar, captures the essence of Vallabhbhai Patel's character, his dignified posture, unwavering determination, and the kindness that marked his personality are all beautifully depicted. The meticulous attention to detail, from his shawl-draped shoulders to his poised hands, evokes a sense of purpose and resolve. After careful selection, a 3D scan of the approved design served as the blueprint for the bronze cladding cast in a foundry in China. Building a statue of such colossal proportions presented unique engineering challenges. Patel's attire, with a dhoti and sandals, led to a slimmer base compared to the top, affecting stability. To overcome this, Engineers maintained a slenderness ratio of 1619, ensuring the statue's resilience against winds of up to 180 kilometers per hour and earthquakes measuring 6.5 on the Richter scale. The use of two 250-ton tuned mass dampers further enhanced stability. The statue's height of 182 meters was thoughtfully chosen to mirror the number of seats in the Gujarat Legislative Assembly, emphasizing its significance. The Statue of Unity was brought to life through a public-private partnership model with substantial funding from the government of Gujarat. The state government allocated Rs 500 crore or used $94 million for the project from 2012 to 2015. Additional funds were also provided in the 2014-15 union budget, cementing the government's commitment to this monumental endeavor. In addition, public sector undertakings also contributed under the Corporate Social Responsibility Scheme. In total, the project's timeline spanned 57 months, with meticulous planning taking 15 months, construction occupying 40 months, and a final two months for the project's handover. The total cost, estimated at $410 million in underscored the magnitude of this monumental project. However, not everybody agreed to this project as the local tribals, particularly the Tadvi tribe, voiced concerns about land acquisition for tourism infrastructure development around the statue. Protests and arrests preceded the statue's unveiling. Nevertheless, the government of Gujarat addressed many of these concerns, fostering a spirit of cooperation. The project was finally done. The Statue of Unity can be visited and comprises five zones, each with its unique significance. The first zone, from the base to Patel's shins, houses the exhibition area, mezzanine, and roof. Here, visitors can delve into the life and contributions of Sardar Patel, enriched by an adjoining audiovisual gallery that immerses visitors in the cultural tapestry of the region. The second zone extends to Patel's thighs, while the third culminates in the viewing gallery at a breathtaking height of 153 meters. The fourth zone is dedicated to maintenance, ensuring the statue's longevity, while the fifth zone crowns the statue with Patel's head and shoulders. The museum within the first zone paints a vivid portrait of Sardar Patel's life and achievements. 
An accompanying audiovisual gallery captures the essence of Patel's legacy and the vibrant tribal culture of Gujarat. The statue's legs house two elevators each, efficiently whisking visitors to the viewing gallery in just over 30 seconds. The Statue of Unity has emerged as a global tourist attraction, welcoming over 128,000 visitors in the first 11 days after opening to the public in November 2018. The daily average footfall in November 2019 surpassed even the iconic Statue of Liberty, demonstrating its immense popularity. The statue has received recognition on the international stage, finding a place in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization's Eight Wonders of SCO list. In its inaugural year, it drew 2.9 million visitors and generated R as an 82 crore, use 11, 64 million in ticket revenue. As of March 2021, 5 million tourists had experienced its magnificence. By November 2022, an astounding 10 million people had paid homage to this symbol of unity and progress.